Some of you may remember the series I did, Hunter. It was on the air for seven years. And oh, thank you, thank you. We had different actors that came through. So you add all that up, and there were hundreds of thousands of different people that came through that I had the chance to work with. And probably one of the most popular was George Clooney. And when he was coming on, all my, my girlfriend said, oh, my God, oh, my gosh, do you get to have a, a kissing romantic scene with him? And I was like, no. <laughs> have to shoot him, cuff him, and read him his rights. <laughs> there are boys just right for some kissing. And I mean to kiss me a few. Oh, those boys don't know what they're missing. I've got a lot of living to do. According to the Kinsey Report, every average man you know much prefers his lovely dovey to court when the temperature is low. But when the thermometer goes way up and the weather is sizzling hot, Mr. Bob for his squawk, a Marine for his queen, a GI for his cutie pie, he's not. Cause it's too, too, too darn hot. It's too. was also a songwriter. He was born in Vienna, Austria, and was an Austrian Jew. And my mother was born in Alabama and is Native American. So I got a dad that's a Jew and a mom that's an Indian that makes me another Jew. Hey! I get too hungry to wait for dinner at eight. I love the theater, but I'll never go late. I'll never bother with all the people I hate. 
And that's why this lady is a train. I am, I am the biggest Frank Sinatra fan walking earth alive today. So you can imagine, since I told you I am a big fan, how incredibly excited I was when he invited me to his birthday party. On my left, at my dinner table, I'm sitting next to Donald O'Connor, and on my right is Ella Fitzgerald. <laughs> I'm saying things like, um, Ella, could you pass me the butter? Thank you. And it's like, Ella Fitzgerald, just pass me the butter. Them along. <laughs> so maybe I'll see you there. We can forget all our troubles, forget all our cares. 